Pastor Joseph Adenoga here, welcoming you to Prevailing Life. The, mess the title of my message today is Seek God's Forgiveness. Judges chapter 6 verse 1 says, And the children of Israel did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord. And the Lord delivered them to the hands of Midian for seven years. Sin is a reproach to every nation. When a Christian sins, the protection of God is removed. Sin is a remover of God's favor and protection. In fact, somebody says that sin is the acronym for Satan Identification Number. S stands for Satan I Identification and N Number. So when you sin, you've got some properties of the devil, some identity of the devil in you. And so because of that, the protection of God is not going to be there. So sin brings reproach. What do you do when you sin? God is so full of love. The Bible says, for God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have everlasting life. This is the truth of the word of God. God's only condition for you when you sin is written in the book of First John chapter 1 from verse 7. And verse 8 says, If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive and to forget and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Now, when you sin and protection is off your life, God's only requirement is that you confess your sins. You come to God, you say, Lord, I confess my sins, I'm a sinner. And then you tell God the sin, then you forsake. God's condition is confess and forsake, and you are going to be forgiven, and that's it. You don't need to cry, you don't need to weep as a child of God when you sin. All you need to do is confess that sin and forsake that sin, and promptly you are forgiven, you are back to business with God. Sin may not be able to break your, your relationship with God, but in, in, in your, your sonship relationship, but definitely sin can break you know, the, the, the way you relate with God. It's going to make it you know, bad because sin, God hates sin, but God loves you. So confess that sin and God is going to forgive and forget it is well with your soul. Thank you for listening. Be blessed and remain blessed. Amen.